This is my seat to reap what I have sown. This is my seat for grace, for favor. This is my seat to reap what I have sown. Y'all listen at this. See. I haven't been perfect, but I show me faithful. Say God's got a purpose, and I know He's able. I gotta see in the ground that is blessing. No more stressing. I gotta see in the ground. Now I'm knowing and it's showing that I see for grace, for favor. It only works when we all do it. To see my sins. To do what? To be what I have sown. Come on, just say. This is my season for grace. For what else? For favor. This is my season to reap what I have sown. Everything is working together for my good. Say, church, everything is working. It don't feel good. But it's working for my good. Come on, get the part of it. Come on. We're going higher each night. I'm excited about the speaker on tonight. I want to get all the preliminaries out of the way because I want to set the atmosphere for the man of God to go forth. So let's get through our announcements. Let me say welcome, welcome to everybody on tonight. I want to ask you if this is your first time. I am Dr. G the watchman. Hallelujah. And I want to thank you for sharing with us on tonight. This is Teshuva. You want to know more about Teshuva? Go to my website at www.yolandagriffin.com and you can get more information about Teshuva. Uh, so let's get through it. We will be here six nights a week on Saturdays. I want you to spend that time with yourself and God. I want you to build your own altar 
uh, so that you know how to go before God. I'm asking everyone to sow a minimum, a minimum of $100 seed. You have until September the 9th to sow that seed. So if you want to sow $20 a week, however the Lord leads you to do that, uh, I don't want to pressure you at one time. So I'm giving you enough time. This is your seed. You're sowing into Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the new year, the high holy days. And then everyone who sows a seed will get a Psalm 91 uh, prayer frame. I want to share that with you guys. God told me to uh, put Psalm 91 in a frame, give them a bottle of oil and tell them uh, that you want them to uh, have that to pray over their homes and their families. So I'm going to show you that for one. Own altar. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, and then I want to give a shout out to our graphic artist. He has done such an awesome job. Um, Bishop Stevens, he's going to create a graphic so I can put it up there and share with those of you who may be doing things uh, for God or for your business and you're looking for someone to uh, do your graphics. I'm not a real graphics person. I'm very technical, but not graphical. So I thank God for him and uh, Prophet Delaney uh, for covering me. I love that. You need someone who's going to help you, cover you, and guide you. And then finally, on last night, I shared with you the next phase is the mouth. Uh, someone asked, what is the Listerine thing all about? On last week, my mother and I were having a conversation about my niece who just recovered from COVID-19 and her throat was still sore uh, due to the tubes that were being down in her throat. And my mom, who's 92, suggested my niece goggle with Listerine. And she said, people don't use it anymore, but it's really good for you. Well, when my mom said that, the Listerine thing leaked in my belly. And I began to pray in the spirit and ask the Lord, what are you trying to tell me about Listerine? And then two nights later, one of my mentees sent me an email from a woman named Tiffany Montgomery. And she gave a word that the next phase will require using Listerine because it will attack the mouth. And because the word Listerine had leaked in my spirit two days before, I agree with the woman of God. And so you say the prophets are not speaking. Yes, they are. They're speaking. The challenge is, are we listening and receiving what the prophet has to say? And what other way would the enemy come to attack uh, than the mouth since we're in the season of the mouth? So life and death is in the power of the tongue. Uh, and we just have to be aware, people of God, of what's going on. So I'm done. After the man of God closes out, we will come and read Psalm 27. We'll blow the trumpet and pray. I am looking for intercessors to pray after each night if you're called to uh, the area of intercessor uh, and you have the calling on your life. You love to pray. You love to moan. You love to will and lament on behalf of the people. I would really be grateful if you would contact me to be a part of these 40 days. It's a lot. I don't want to, anyone to think I think I can do it all because I can't. I'm already worn out and this is just day two. So let me introduce to some, present to others the man I call my big little brother. Big because God is doing such big things in him and through him uh, and little because he's younger than me. I call him the prophetic voice for this region, Louisiana. He's the prophetic voice for New Orleans. I love him to the moon and back. God connected us and I'm ever so grateful for the connection. He uses him to catapult people. He's an equipper. He's really an apostle. Uh, but I want to introduce to some and present to others, none other than Prophet Frank Delaney. He's coming to tell us how to will through prophetic prayer. And so the next voice you will hear after we worship so we can set the atmosphere for the man of God uh, will be 
none other than Apostle Frank Delaney. Sometimes, because of the cares of life, it knocks our spirits into a spiritual coma. But thanks be to God that we serve a God who has the power to shake us again. Oh, come on, let's let him do it this morning. Let him wake you up in the anointing. Shake us again, shake us again, only you can, shake us again, shake us again, shake us again, only you can, shake us again. Early in the morning, before the break of day, take your loving hand and shake us again. Shake us with your glory, white as the morning sun. Lord, don't forsake us. But shake us again, shake us again, shake us again. Only you can shake us again. Oh Lord, and shake us again, shake us again. Only you can. Sometimes I feel like Job, broken asunder, shaken to pieces, set up for the Lord. But Lord, you know what's best to get us through our test, and we won't rebel. And you shake us again. Shake us again. Shake us again. We won't let fail. If you shake us again. Shake down of my mind. Shake out of my spirit. Let us receive now none other than Apostle Frank Delaney. <laughs> Bless you, that is. <laughs> Thank I, you for I'm, having me. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm going to enjoy this too. Hallelujah. I'm excited. You know, the Listerine thing, God had given me that too. And when I saw Prophetess Montgomery, I knew it's God. So where two or three bring bear witness, I've been sending it to people. So it's it's necessary. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, man of God. I appreciate Amen. that. Praise Amen. the Lord. Now let's get well, into the word of the Lord. Your way and let Amen. you have it. Amen. We thank God for this watchman apostle, Yolanda Griffin. I honor God for her and the work that she's doing to gather the people of God 
in these perilous times, in this perilous season. I see all of you. Let's make sure we're tagging, we're sharing. Glory to God. We're inviting and we're getting as many as possible in the room and listen and being engaged with this move of God. This is a divine appointment to Shova. It's a divine appointment. And if there never was a time we need to well, <laughs> now is the time. I don't know about you, but I've been feeling the pressure. I've been feeling the intensity. I heard my sister talking about the tiredness already because there is a pressure that is upon us that are watchmen, that are intercessors, and we have to begin to uh, uh, engage more in prayer. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in different dimensions tonight, but I'm going to start with our foundational scripture, Isaiah 55 and 11. And I want to talk about praying prophets, praying prophets. My assignment uh, is about uh, a, a prophetic prayer. And I'm going to talk about prophetic prayer, but in particular, those of you that have prophecy in your DNA, you have prophetic uh, oil locked up in your vows, locked up in your bones. And I'm going to show you how God's getting ready to literally equip you to be able to move and mobilize in your gifting on another level. I feel glory getting ready to come into the room. So I'm trying to take my time because this is necessary that you understand the word of the Lord tonight and you understand this teaching. Prayer is one of my favorite subjects. So when I got the topic, I was just overjoyed that she gave me that topic because I love prayer. I am a praying man, a praying prophet, and I just believe that anything done uh, 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 apostolic and prophetic. It must be done with prayer. And prayer is fine, foundational, just like faith, just like salvation, just like uh, 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 studying the word of the Lord. Prayer is essential. Prayer is essential. Prayer is essential. So I want to talk about uh, a prophetic prayer for a moment on the basis of not just praying prophets, but strategic prayer being a strategist and really being strategic in this hour that we're in, because again, the pressure is heavy. I need y'all sharing and I need y'all tagging. Come on, you know what to do. I need you liking. I really need you to, to be engaging tonight because your engagement and your interaction is vital tonight. And even me being positioned around the prayer wall, the prayer wall in this studio, it, it's divine. It, it's divine. And I believe this is a season where you're understanding that prophetic prayer is not asking prayer. It's not the prayer of petition. Hear me. It's not the prayer of supplication. It is prayer according to the prophetic word. Watch this. From the past, the present, into the present future. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me because uh, 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 you, when you're praying prophetically, what you're doing is you're cultivating answers. Not just you're not just cultivating answers, but you're becoming the answer while you're praying prophetically as a prophetic intercessor, as a prophetic watchman. Uh, you're, 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 you're releasing the judgments that have already been established before the foundation of the earth. And I'll talk a little bit about decreeing and then the power of declaring and then understanding again that prophetic prayer is not asking prayer. When I tap into prophetic prayer, I'm coming out with an answer. Oh, somebody ought to type, I'm coming out with an answer. That while you're praying, good, I can see the comments now, that while you're praying, glory to God, that while you're praying, glory to God, things are beginning to materialize right before your, your very eyes. And when you live in a posture of prayer, 
and you stay guarded with prayer. There was something I asked the Lord for. I was, I was, I was organizing some stuff in the closet because these days on the road to 5782, this month of Elul, uh, this month that we're in Hebraically is a month, glory to God, of reevaluation. It's a month of reorganizing. Glory to God. It's a month where things have to come into order. Well, anyway, I was in the closet and I was going through things and I began to pray and I began to talk right there. And before I finished, the answer had showed up. My phone went off. Glory to God. I had a phone call, a favorable phone call. Glory to God. And that's what's getting ready to happen this season. And the reason God's handoloboko shandalabandalaboko shandalabandelebeko sataya. I feel prayer getting ready to hit me. I'm trying to teach, but I need you to understand that there's an authority. Hallelujah. A prayer that's getting ready to hit you. I said there's an authority, a prophetic prayer that's getting ready to hit you to make this thing more easier in the realms of the spirit where demons are going to flee automatically. So watch this. Prophetic prayer is the possession of the operative knowledge of the mind of God. When you tap into prophetic prayer, watch this, you're tapping into the mind of God, his will, his plans, his purposes, come on here, his original intent before enabling you, watch this, to prophetically pray, hallelujah, glory to God, from his sovereign perspective, you want to pray the mind of the Father right now. We want to pray the mind of the Father. I was in prayer concerning Rosh Hashanah and concerning the move of God. And God began to speak to me. He said, prophet, this is an hour to shut down and shut up. Okay. All right. Y'all might not like it. You, you might not like it. He said, this is a time, a one-on-one. -on -one. I need you to hear me. Yes. He said, I need you to go back and I need you to fill in the gate and I need you to rest in the secret place. Y'all better hear me because if I'm going to awaken you and if I'm going to do, hallelujah, what I promised you, I need you that are kingdom believers, you that are prophetic. I need you to shut in and shut up. I need you to shut in and shut up. And I need you to begin to, that's why we're lamenting. That's why we're wailing. That's why we're crying out. We're repenting. We're repenting. We're intensifying. Come on here. Our prayers. And I know many are upset. Look like the world is being shut down again. And so much is going on. And now there's another virus and, and anxiety is, is, is coming back again in the kingdom of God. Maybe God wants us in a resting place because he said, look, I'm trying to give you another chance i'm trying to i'm trying to give you another chance i'm trying to give you another chance so so look what he's saying he, he's his sovereign perspective and ultimate intention of what he has said before he spoke before but are we listening come on and i know we was excited for a season to gather and get back in the buildings but now god says i need to reset you oh the Lord is singing, and that's why she's giving Psalms 91, because it's prophetically profound that the Lord is about to bless you and restore you in the secret place. He needs you to rest. Hey, to rest in him. Hey. Glory to God. To rest in the house again. I'm telling you what he told me. This is a personal reset. Glory to God. So watch this. This is a prayer. This prophetic prayer, it's a prayer after you've recognized the authority of your prayer and the articulation, what begins to happen when you pray prophetically, what happens is you expedite the supernatural, hallelujah, glory to God, the supernatural facilitation of those prayers. Let's go to Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be, which means these are the days we got to get that word in us. We got to get that word in us. So shall my word be that going for glory to God out of my mouth that it shall not return unto me void. When you're praying prophetically, no word will fall on deaf grounds. No word will fall on fallow ground. Every word will be targeted. Every word, hallelujah, glory to God, will be as a, a bullseye. You're going to hit the target every time, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper. Glory to God. 
in the thing where to I sent it to amplify, so will my word be that goes out of the mouth that it will not return unto me void. It ain't going to come back useless. It's going to come back with results. Oh, somebody shout, prophetic prayer releases results. Hey, that when you pray prophetically, you're, you're, you're pulling and you're summonsing the heavens to release the answers for results. This is the hour you will pray and you will see results. You will pray and you will see, you will see results. And what happens is the intention of the prophetic prayer uh, glory to God is to manifest the evidence of those, oh glory to God, that exhibits and platforms God's will in the earth realm. When you're praying prophetically, you're exhibiting a platform hey, for God to dwell in the earth realm. God wants to dwell. I feel him in the earth realm. He wants to dwell in you. This is a prayer of power. A prophetic prayer is a prayer of power, a prayer of position, and a prayer of authority and which it has been purposed and must come to pass. When you pray prophetically, because you're, you're the mouthpiece of God, as a prophet of God, as a prophetic being, glory to God, you're going to see the instantaneous results, hallelujah, of the word of prayer. So prophetic prayer, it activates the prophetic words. Words that have been spoken over your life. Come on here. Words that God is, God is speaking right now. Uh, that the, Those words that have been stalled, delayed, restricted, suspended, and incarcerated. I feel God. What happens is when you pray, hallelujah, prophetically, and words have been incarcerated. Mm, words that have been suspended and restricted. You are releasing them to perform the fullness of their designated and intended in and cannot take place until a certain decree is released, until a certain word is spoken out of your life. Glory to God. Then that word can manifest. Uh, what are you saying, prophet? What, what are you saying? That when you begin to open up your mouth and you begin to make a decree, for instance, glory to God, it's time to pull down every high thing that it exalts itself against your imagination. The enemy wants to incarcerate your mind. The enemy wants to incarcerate, glory to God, your imagination. There is a prince of the air right now. Everything is airborne right now. It's an airborne spirit. You got to protect your gate, your nostrils, your nose. It comes through the nose, glory to God, and it goes down to the throat, glory to God. You got to hear what the prophets are saying, glory to God. And that's why prophetic prayer is necessary in this season so that your prayer Praying targeted prayers. You're, you're, you're praying, you're praying to kill. One shot, one kill. You're, you're, you're praying, hallelujah, to pull down the principality, the prince of the air. If you pay attention, you don't see many birds flying right now. Pay attention to the air. Even the air flights are being delayed at an all time high. Pay, pay, pay attention to what's going on in the air. When the rain comes, I start seeing the birds flying out because the water clears the atmosphere. If anything, we need to do as watchmen and as prodobo shete And I know some of you saying, well, why is it raining? And what we need the rain right now. Hey, Yes, God. Hey, We need the rain because the rain, it clears the atmosphere. I feel God. I feel God. I feel him coming in the room. The rain, it clears. It clears the atmosphere. And when the rain comes, I see the birds coming out. I say, okay, there's a clearance. Oh my God, we need to pray that the water, that the rain would come. Send the rain. Send the rain over Louisiana. Send the rain over Texas. Send the rain over New York, over Georgia. Wherever you are, say, Lord, send the rain. Send the rain over your United States of America. We need a clearance in the realm. Of the spirit. So what is your goal? What is your goal as a prophetic intercessor or 
a prophetic or uh, praying prophet. Your goal is to have a, a, a new response or a new thinking on prayer. Prophetic prayer, uh, b -b -b your goal is to help you to understand that strategic prayer, that prophetic prayer is spiritual warfare. That, that that is designed to equip you to pray more strategically. So we just pray the prayer, I decree and I decree and I declare as a prophet of God that the rain is coming, that, that a tsunami of rain is coming to clear the air. And the rain can come and it won't flood. You don't hear me. I say the rain can come in a hurricane and a tornado don't have to come with it. You better hear me. I, I'm, I'm here to let you know. We got to pray more strategically. So watch this. So, 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 so this prophetic prayer is strategic prayer. So what it will do is when you're praying prophetically, I just told you, it's not about the, peti the petition. Uh, it's not about the action. It's about the answer showing up in the earth realm. When you're praying prophetically, you're going to see answers. I'm telling you, I'm a prophetic intercessor. I'm a prophetic warrior. So I see answers. I see results because I know how to pray, when to pray. I've understood the systems and the structures of prayer through the eight watches of prayer. You need to, that, that, That's a teaching for a whole nother day. Understanding the eight watches of prayer and understanding that you could be praying the right prayer at the wrong time. That you can be praying the right prayer, but you're praying it at the wrong hour. Because each hour, the heavens are open up. This six o'clock hour, this first watch that we're in, is a watch. We're in a brand new day. Hey, I told you, I tell you. Oh God, I give you glory for the brand new day. We're already in a new day. We're already in the realm of the spirit. We've already crossed into Wednesday. Hey, glory to God. We've already crossed into tomorrow. So at this prophetic watch that we're in, this six o'clock watch, you have the authority right now to shut down every demonic cycle and every demonic system and every demonic sound that will try to show up tomorrow. Hallelujah. It will not show up because you shut it down at 6 p.m. on the day before. Oh, somebody shout, I got to shut it down. You got to shut it down early. You got to shut that thing down. This six o'clock hour, it's the hour of resetting. It's an hour of resetting. And, 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 and Doc Apostle uh, Watchman uh, Griffin was so prophetic when she started at the noon day, at the six o'clock, the brand new day, the 6 p.m. hour, the hour of reset. Watch this. So what happened is uh, when you pray prophetically, you're canceling the assignment of the enemy. You're changing the atmosphere. You're interrupting the communication network of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. And I'm to pray prophetically. And I'm going to pray prophetically in a minute to demonstrate this thing. What happens is it's going to create an opening. It's going to create an opening. Here to Mahoshia. I said, it's going to create an opening when you begin to pray prophetically. You're not sitting there, I'm a father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That, no, 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 no. That's the, that's the disciples prayer. And yes, that prayer opens the heavens. But right now we're in the midst, glory to God, of spiritual warfare. We're in the midst. He commando shekela mandala la bando lo boko shandala bandele le beko sandala la bahanda ya. We're in the midst of a war. Commando shetebiya. We're in the midst of a war in the realm of the spirit. And we don't have time to play games. We don't have time to play church games. We don't have time to play people games. This is the hour where you got to reset. I feel God coming in this room. You got to understand the language of warfare. 
You got to have the language of warfare. Glory to God. When you're praying prophetically, you got to know the language of the heavens and the language of the earth. You got to know the language of warfare. Somebody shout the language of warfare. You got to begin to use words such as hallelujah, annihilate, which means to defeat. You got to begin to use words when you're praying prophetically. I bind and I loose. I forbid. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I resist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You pull down strongholds. Tactical prayers. I feel God coming in the room. You begin to deal with the strong man. Oh, glory to God. Spiritual warfare. What is spiritual warfare, prophet? It's an invisible battle in the spirit realm between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Oh, shando la banda la la bando, sheke mando koba baba handel ya, sheke mando koma mama nda da baho fa ya, sheke mando koba sheke yando la banda la baho. It's starting to stir up on me. I gotta slow down. So watch this. Hayato shata shata na na mahosa. So when you're praying, you're using the language of warfare. You're 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 executing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're enforcing. Hey, glory to God. You're enforcing. Uh huh. You're 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 you're, you're decreeing. Uh huh. You're 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 declaring. Uh huh. Glory to God. So what happens is in this particular realm of the spirit, I feel you, God. You 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 got to be reluctant. Watch this to respond to the unction of the spirit. Woo! You got to be reluctant to respond to the unction of the spirit. You got to totally yield to the spirit when you're praying prophetically. <laughs> hey, glory to God. You cannot pray in your logical realm. You got to totally yield to the spirit. Or somebody ought to lift their hands and say, Lord, I totally yield to the spirit. Unction, unction, what's your function? My function is the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. You need this the spirit of the Lord. You, you need the spirit of the Lord because the reason you need the unction of the spirit, because the things that are to be spoken, are so beyond our obedience, so beyond our practice faith, that we get dominated and overcome fear. Glory to God. That's why we understand that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. And that's why we understand life in death is in the power of the tongue. Glory to God. And we're understanding in this season and in this hour, glory to God, that his word will not become back void, that it's going to do what it was sent to do. His word, hallelujah, is going to make the difference. So what happened is, what happens is uh, uh, when you're praying prophetically uh, as a prophetic intercessor, oh Lord, I yield to you. Oh, Shandala bandala la bokosa. Yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 yield. We 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 yield. Uh, we yield. We yield our human intellect uh, to the spirit. We 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 yield our sensory perception uh, to the spirit. We yield our carnality and our reasonable knowledge to the spirit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So what happens is you got to, hallelujah, God, we yield. I wish somebody would park right there and say, Lord, we yield. Hey, we yield to the spirit. We break protocol in the earth realm. Uh, and we level up in the realms of the spirit, or we break in protocol at night. <laughs> when you have prophetic prayer, you gotta break the protocol of man. Hey, and you gotta yield to the spirit world. I say you gotta yield to the realm of the spirit. I feel God. I feel God coming in the room. I don't know who on here yet. I don't know who's still on here. But if you're on here, say I'm yielding. I'm yielding. I'm yielding to the spirit world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta embrace the spirit world. So, so when you're praying prophetically, it's Payatoshia, Lord, we yield. Hey, hey, hey. That is, we yield to the spirit world. Hey, yes, God. You can trust us with your secrets. Hiya. 
You can raise us up as your answers, as your problem solvers. Hey, hey, hey. You can raise us up, oh God. You can raise us up, oh God. Hey, to be your answers to our city. Hey, to be your answer to the region where we're located at. God, you can trust us with the spirit world. The spirit world. You see, I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. You got to pray in the Holy Ghost. You got to pray in the spirit more. You got to maho shando maho. I said you got to pray in the spirit more. You got to spend the maho shando maho. I need y'all praying in the spirit. If you feel with tongues, I need you praying in the maho shando shataya. Elalamando kobo sanda. So when you're praying in the spirit, and then all of a sudden, when you tap into the prophetic prayer, we're asking for what has already been received. Hey, Yandosha. He already told you he would make you a great nation. The prophecy has already been declared in the earth realm. He just waiting on you to pick up the mantle and carry it. Our prophetic prayer causes you to pick up, hallelujah, to pick up the mantle of the mentors of faith. Glory to God. To pick up the mantle that has already been put in the earth realm. The mantles of Ezekiel. The mantles of Abraham. The mantle or mando of Isaac and Jacob. The mantles of Paul and John and Luke and Mark. The mantles, the prophetic words that have already been spoken since Genesis chapter 1. The word that was spoken out of Noah when they laughed at Noah because Noah was a righteous man. So God gave him the capacity to carry the assignment. Oh, y'all ain't praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get in the spirit and you got to access what God said. Uh, prophetic prayer causes you to access what God has said. Glory to God. What God has willed. Hallelujah. And you got to begin to now prophesy it. So I prophesy that there's an army that's arising that will not be afraid to pray strategically, that will not be afraid to pull down the demonic strongholds, that will not be afraid to slay the Goliath. You got to prophesy it. After you prayed it through, then you got to prophesy it. I said, you got to prophesy it. You got to prophesy it. Or somebody needs to type it. I must prophesy it. You begin to prophesy it. I begin to prophesy that the rain going to come. Hey, Lord, send the rain. Lord, Lord, send the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we are faithing what already is. When you're praying prophetically, you're faithing what already is. You, 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 you're faithing what already is. And this is what the angels of the Lord, the angels of the Lord, they're waiting on you. They're waiting on us. The mouth of two. See, that's why the power of agreement is important. Where two or three are touching and in agreeing, God will be in the midst. He's waiting on two or three of you to say the same thing. When we begin to say the same thing at the same time, heaven begins to respond. Oh, glory to God. It has to be said to Bohoshia, on earth as it is, and it shall be manifested in heaven. Yeah, we got to echo. We got to echo. So when we begin to say, July shall not lie, yeah, then we're coming with August won't lie. When Mama Big began to say the big done showed up, whatever the decree is, when we declare money, just keep coming. When we declare money, you know our name. When we make these decrees and we make these declares that I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm whole, I feel God. When you make these declares, decrees and these declarations are affirmations, we got to speak on one accord. 
when we all begin to speak, hell gets nervous. Hell gets nervous. And don't you think hell ain't going to clack back? Don't you think hell ain't going to hit back? That's why you got to knock hell back. Every time you speak the word of the Lord and you say, I'm the head and not the tail, you knocking hell back. I said, you knocking hell back. Every time you said, I shall live in this midst of this Delta variant and I shall not die, you knocking hell back. Oh, Shando Shataya. Oh, Yando Koma Sanda Yato Shataba. The blood, the blood, the blood. I dare you to put the sign of the blood up. The blood is what covers us, the blood is what keeps us. So, 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 when you're praying prophetically, prophetic prayer is acting according to the prophetic word that was given and praying according to the promise. That's why some of you don't see your prophecies manifest. Because you ain't prayed the prophecy through. Prophetic prayer. You receive the prophetic word from the man or the woman of God. Now you got to recall the word. And you got to begin to say, God, I thank you that I heard that word from the man of God, from the woman of God. And they spoke out of their mouth that the big going to show up. So now, God, I thank you that the big is showing up in my life. Oh, God, I thank you that the man and the woman of God have spoken over my family, have spoken over my child, that he would be a global voice. You got to call back the prophetic word and you got to prophesy it. You got to pray it again. You got to pray it through. You got to pray it through. I teach a class how to activate your prophecy. How do you activate your prophecy? Praying and prophesying what has already been spoken and adding the word of the Lord with it. Oh, that was for free. The prophetic accelerates the answer to prayer. So when you get a prophetic word, that prophetic word that was spoken out of the mouth of the prophet has to now be prayed and decreed and declared out of your mouth. So what happens is, what happens prophet, it administrates and governs <laughs> events that are related to the answer. It imparts strategies and gives specifically to the prayer that you pray. It's final and glorious conclusion, the full manifestation of what has been decreed before, what has already been spoken, what has already been stated. So prophet, how do I really manifest? How do I really manifest this thing? Some of you have dreams. You get dreams, you get visions, and you don't ever pray them through. you always dreaming. The Lord is always showing you stuff, and you never pray it through. You got to pray that thing through. I said you got to pray that thing through. You got to pray that thing through. I said you got to pray it through. Oh, somebody shout, I got to pray it through. You got to pray it and prophesy through. You got to prophesy the prophecy over your life again. So how, how, how will I be successful? This is how you're going to be successful. Number one, you got to know your command in chief. You got to know who the boss. Yahshua, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, he owns everything. You got to know who's the boss. He is the boss. El Shaddai is the boss. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Tashikanu, they the boss. You got to know the commander in chief. Then you got to know the enemy. You got to know what enemy you're fighting. Right now we fighting the prince of the air. This thing is a beast. We're fighting the prince of the air. Then you got to know number three, your authority in Christ. You have the same authority as Jesus Christ. 
Matter of fact, you have the same authority as Genesis 1. When he began to open up his mouth and when he began to speak and when he began to speak and say, let there be, you have the same let there be in your belly. I decree that there's an army of let there be's that are arising and you will open up your mouth and say, let there be peace. You will open up your mouth and say, let there be healing. You will open up your mouth and say, let there be joy. You will open up your mouth and say, let there be, let there be healing over region one. Let there be breakthrough over region two. Hallelujah. In Louisiana, let there be a clearance in the atmosphere in region three. I feel your call. Let there be breakthrough in region four and region five. I'm praying and I'm praying strategically. And sometimes you might have to have some notes to help you reinforce, to help you execute what God has already said. Then you got to deal with the root of the problem. Murder stems from a jealous spirit and jealousy is as cruel as the grave. So I got to deal with the root and not the fruit. And then once I find out the root of the problem, then I got to begin to know the mind of the Father. See, a real intercessor, y'all can't tell me y'all intercessors, and you don't have no, no prayer points. No prayer points. You don't know what you pray. I know what I'm praying for on a daily basis. What you you gotta know, you gotta have some, some prayer structure. Come on here. If you're going to be a prophetic prayer warrior, you got to know what you're targeting for the week. Oh, I feel God rebuking us tonight. We got to get more strategic. We don't have enough targeted prayers. We all over. We all over the place. It's time to level up. Oh, I feel God. And become more strategic in prayer. More targeted. We got to target this Delta variant. We got to target this prince of the air, this demonic spirit, Gwen Jones, that wants to stun our growth, that wants to stagnate us, that wants to hinder the move of God from happening in the earth realm. We got to level up. We got we to gotta level up. We got to be specific and not double-minded. You got to believe that you receive. That while I'm praying, I know it's already done. Glory to God. And then you got to remind the father of his word. Lord, you say it. Lord, you said in your word that I'm a lender and not a borrower. Lord, you said in your word that by your stripes, I'm here. Lord, you said in your word, give and it shall be given upon to me. Lord, you said in your word. <laughs> that you own everything. The earth is the Lord. And the, you, you are my shepherd. I shall, Lord, you said in your word, they that wait upon the Lord, you said in your word, you got to get that word in your belly. You got to get that word in your belly. You got to know the enemy and his tactics. And then you got to pray the solution and not the problem. You got to begin to say, Lord, I thank you for sending counselors and sending mentors to help my son evolve and become the man of God. You want him to be God. I thank you that you're putting the right people before the path of my daughter to help her with her career. That when she step her foot into the workforce, God, that she would have favor, that there will be no problems, that there will be favor. You got to begin to pray the solution. God, I thank you that you're raising up answers in the earth realm. You're raising up prophetic intercessors that will decree and declare in their authority that will decree and declare with a boldness that will begin to speak the word of faith and that will not doubt you got to begin to pray the solution and not the problem you got to begin to say god i thank you that you're storing up the spirit man of my husband of you of your wife you got to begin to you got to begin to speak that thing out of your your belly and you i wish somebody would share this broadcast because it is a powerful teaching there is an anointing of God that is flowing. Well, prophet, well, prophet, I'm finishing up. 
where there is supernatural vision, the Lord provides obedience. The obedience that is necessary to respond to what is required. Paul said, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Acts 26 and 19. We must use the prophetic vision. Come on. Those things. We must believe what we saw in the vision. We must receive it. We must think on it. We must see ourselves in it. You got to see yourself in it. You got to see yourself in it. <laughs> you got to see yourself possessing it. You got to see it coming to pass. The word of the Lord shall come to pass. You got to see yourself out of that mess. See yourself whole. See yourself in another realm. You got to see yourself. Yeah, you got to see yourself. You got to see yourself. What do you see, seer? What do you see, seer? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? I, I, I'm finished. Father, I thank you that you're opening up our eyes and you're opening up our ears so that we can see clear and we can hear clear. Father, I thank you tonight that you're activating. You're activating the seer and the prophetic intercessor. And every individual under the sound of my voice, those that are watching right now, and those that will rewatch the broadcast. I heard the woman of God talking, and she's getting ready to put the ways to give because I'm going to sow my seed. I'm sowing a double seed. Hi! The ways to give is on the screen. That seed of a hundred. She acted as many as possible. To sow that seed of a hundred. And when you sow that seed of a hundred, there's going to be an exchange. She's giving you that Psalms 91, that Psalms 91 docket. <laughs> Glory to God. The Psalm 91 docket. <laughs> and then the anointing oil. That Psalm 91 docket and then the anointing oil. There's seven of you tonight, including me, that's going to sow that 100. Some of you say, prophet, I don't have that 100 tonight, but I have that 50. When you sow that seed, that seed of the 100, that seed of the 100, I'm telling you, that seed of the 100, the seed of the 100. The seed of the 100. The seed of the 100. The seed of the hundred. Come on. The seed of the hundred. And when you sow the seed, I promise you, you're going to see the breakthrough. Some of you say, I don't have it all tonight. Just start sowing. Sow 20. Sow something towards this move of God. This is the time to really sow. This is the last hour before the new year. You got to close out your year with a seed. I said, you got to close out your year with a seat. And money going to just keep coming. Hey, 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 hey. And I thank you now for those that are responding to the sound. And I give you praise now, God, for those that are sowing into this move of God. God, I pray now in the name of Jesus, much increase, much favor, much overflow. I decree and declare debt freedom. I speak it to be so now in Jesus' name. And it is so. And it can be no otherwise. In Jesus' name. Come on, receive. My sister. <laughs> the watchman herself. I see you sowing. I see those that are sowing with me tonight. Who's sowing? If you're sowing, say it's a done, done deal. <laughs> I'm ready to level up.
<laughs> I'm ready to be all that God is calling me to be. All you got to do is obey, just respond. And in your sowing, you're going to see the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Sow into this move of God. Sow into this move of God. Sow into what the woman of God is doing. And one thing about this woman of God, she's good ground. She's good ground. She's not a self-centered woman of God. She's a bona fide giver. And I thank God for her. Those that have just that 20, do your best. I promise you. And God will do the rest. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands and thank God that, Lord have mercy. He said so much. I'm telling you. I don't know about you. <laughs> Look, I, I just was right. I don't know about y'all, but I take notes. I go back and re-listen to the word in case there was some pivot things that was said that I may have missed. And as the man of God said tonight, this is a pivot moment. The king is in the field. Now, he taught us tonight how to pray. If you didn't learn anything else, you should have learned pray the word. He said, pray the word. He said, pray strategically. That means it's okay to write it down. So you don't have to close your eyes and hold your hands like this to pray. <laughs> Praying is just having a conversation with God. Hallelujah. And that's what Teshuva is all about. It's about reconnecting us in the spirit with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, Tamika, it was an awesome teaching. Y'all should have had hands clapping on the screen and giving God glory for the man of God pouring into us the way he did tonight. I don't know about you, but I know when it's done, I'm going to have to get my earphones, get my little feet in the bed. I get my little snacks, my grapes <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> and I re-listen to the word. So I don't miss anything. Amen. Man of God, I just want to say thank you. I am humbled and honored um, that you would come on my little platform because oh, people of God, um, he has a now a global network. He is on the word network every really every week because every week <laughs> uh, Bishop Davis <laughs> has just kind of kidnapped him for his show, and he has his own show. And what I love about him, that's why I say he's an equipper. I want y'all to know leaders when you're following them, listening to them, or serving under them. If your leader cannot pour into you to catapult you, to usher you into where God is calling you, then you need to ask about that leader. And one thing I love about him from the day we met, he'd been pulling it out of me catapulting me into what God has called me to be. And I've watched him bring folk on his television platform. He's not intimidated by other people's gifts. And that's right here, same thing for me. I got 40 different people coming to give y'all a word because I'm not the only one God talking to. Come on. Anybody listening. And when you're connected with those kind of people, you ought to be blessed, excited, elated uh, to be connected to people like Prophet Delaney. And so I thank God and some of the speakers on here who's coming tonight, Mama Big, they call her Mama Big. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't know why God was connecting us, but he did. And I'm grateful and honored to be connected. Uh, Trina Hall, Fatana Bones, yes. Tamika Kane, so many are coming. Uh, with a word from God in season. Hallelujah. And that's the other thing in season. And so tomorrow night we will have uh, prophet Joshua. Cynthia Joshua is going to come and she's going to teach us how to build a wheeling wall. Some of y'all don't know how to wheel. Wow. You, you're too arrogant. <laughs> you're too uppity. You're too puffed up. You don't know how to yield. You don't know how to, what the man of God said, get on your face and prophetically pray and cry out to God. It's okay to cry out. And right now we need to cry out for our nation. I'm called to America. Anybody listening? I'm called to the body of Christ. I know I'm called to call y'all back to God, to get y'all back on the right track. And you need to know God 
what are you calling me to? Intercede for your children, intercede for your husband. He told you, intercede for your wife, intercede for your family members, anybody listening. And that's what it's all about. Amen. So we're going to blow the trumpet. We're going to pray the Psalms 27 prayer. Hallelujah. And then we're going to get out of here. Amen. So I'm going to blow the trumpet and then we're going to pray the Psalms 27 prayer. And why do we blow the trumpet? The trumpet. Come on. Is an awakening. When they blow the trumpet, they're blowing it to awaken sleepers. Oh, you sleeper awaken for the king is coming. <laughs> and is coming. Hallelujah. Glory be to I pray the 27th Psalm and I want you to learn how to put your name when he said pray prophetically this is how you're going to pray the Lord is Yolanda's light and my salvation come on call your name out whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of Yolanda's life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell come on you prophesying against corona you prophesying against delta come on though a host should encamp against me yolanda's heart shall not fear though war should rise against me they talk about you they stab you in their back they lied on you come on and this will i be confident yolanda's confident god one thing have i desired of the lord that yolanda will seek after that yolanda may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he shall hide Yolanda in his pavilion and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide Yolanda he shall set Yolanda upon a rock and now shall Yolanda head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy Yolanda will sing hallelujah Yolanda will sing praises uh. unto the Lord. Come on, put your name there. Hear, O oh Lord, when Yolanda cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Now, right there, that's where you prophetically say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, come on, I, the murder will stop. Deliver us from a jealous spirit in New Orleans, God. Lord, you will fuck up and pull down at the White House. You will expose ah. everything. You will cause us to fall on our face and repent. Lord, right here, right. Come on. This when you start praying your prophetic prayer. When thou seekest ye my face, my heart ah. says to thee, thy face, Lord, will I see. He said you have to know who you're praying to. God, you have to know who the enemy is. Come on. Hide not thy face from me, but put thy servant away in anger. Come on, say, God, we sorry. Forgive us, God. We fall in short of your glory. There's some things I should have done that I didn't do. It ain't always about what you did. Sometimes it's about what you didn't do that you should have done. On. Come on. Neither forsake me, O oh God, of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord took me up. Come on, tell him, take me up, O oh God. Teach me thy way, O oh Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Prophet said, pray strategically and ask the Lord to show you the way to go. Come on, say, God, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm dumb. Sometimes I'm silly, God. Sometimes I'm blind. I can't see. Sometimes I can't hear. But give me ears to hear and eyes to hear, to see because of my enemies. Deliver me not over into the will of my enemies. Come on, say, God, though they may fall 10,000, 20,000 on each side of me, none shall come nigh unto me. Come on. For false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. Let me tell you something. Do you know they're praying about Yeshua? <laughs> this is Yeshua. Do you understand? They're talking about Yeshua. 
And if they did it to Yeshua, do you not think they're going to do it to you? I had fainted unless I had believed to see ah. the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I don't know about you, but I live in the land of the living. I don't care how much COVID out here. I don't care how much Delta out here. I don't know what's coming next, what they going to call it. But guess what? No plague, no unclean thing shall come down to me in my house, for we shall dwell in the land safely. That's my Amen. prayer every day. And listen to what it says. Wait on the Lord. Lord, give me self-control. Give me patience. Teach me how to wait. Pray what you don't have. It's okay. It don't make you a wimp. It don't make you weak. God said, come on, the weak shall inherit the earth. Anybody listening? And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Father, we bless you today and we thank you for Prophet Delaney. We pray you restore back into him a double portion, God. Strengthen him in his body. Continue to build up his, his spirit, man, God. I see angels all around him, Father. Dispatch his destiny angels, his angels of connection, protection, and direction, connecting wow. with the people who need what he had what he has and what he need in the name of Yeshua. No plague, no evil thing shall come nigh unto him, for he and his house shall dwell safely in the land. Everyone under my voice, we thank you now, God, and we pray, have mercy. Hear our cry, God. Only you can turn the hearts of men. Touch the hearts of our political leaders, our spiritual leaders. Open their eyes to see and their ears to hear. Call this nation to repentance, to have mercy. And then, God, I lift up our children. Have mercy. Protect them from those, God, that are stealing them to prostitute them in the name of Yeshua. Protect them while they're in school, walking to and fro from home to school. Dispatch their angels. We pray now expose every human traffic highway, oh God, yes, God. in the name of your Jesus. Pluck up, pull down, expose. He shut up by your road. See now, man. Have mercy, God. We ready, God. We ready to submit. We ready to serve and to edify and glorify you. Have mercy on our soul. And if there be anyone here tonight, you say, I'm not really sure. I don't know the Lord. I promise if you just lift your hand and say, Lord. I receive as my personal savior. Forgive me of my sins. Have mercy on my soul. I believe it with my mouth, my, my heart, and I speak it with my mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, everyone who's sowing the seed, listen, I told y'all, y'all have all the way to Rosh Hashanah. So those who don't have the hundred tonight, it's okay. So five, so 10, so 15. Sowing a seed means you plant one night and then you keep watering it. Amen. And then you get your seed through. And everybody who sows, no matter what you sow, I'm going to give you the frame because God said you need to know what to pray over your household for what's coming next. And you need to know how to anoint your doors. Y'all anoint your doors. I anoint my doors. I anoint my windows. I go outside, anoint my doors and windows. Come on. I put the all prophet laughing, but I, you know, oh. prophet, I'd be serious. Oh, I know you are. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is spiritual yes, warfare. It is. Come on. Are transferable. And Come I on. say, God, they're not even going to cross my lawn. I'm not listening. Come on. Prophet gave us a piece of red cloth. I think it's going on two years. I got a piece at my front door. A piece at my back door. I gave cut mine up and gave them to my children. Told them put it on your door. My you. daughter said the other night, Mom, you know what? I know we don't believe in things, but I just thank the Lord. I believe that red cloth has been covering us. Come on, anybody listening? This is spiritual warfare, and you're going to have to come out your little closet. And your little wimpy, scary self, some of y'all too cocky, too proud. Y'all have to humble yourself and say, Lord, let me get to that place. Hallelujah. I'm done, prophet. I am done. That is it. it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, tomorrow night, we are here at six o'clock. And look, I got your message. You know what's been happening? 
What happened? I put live, I put public through the phone, but didn't realize I have to go put it on the computer too. So I'm like, oh Lord, well, you live and learn. You got it, you got yeah. it. You got Until it. he sends me a team like prophet. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So listen, Hallelujah. I need some intercessors. I don't want to pray every night. I just I believe God is set this stage for y'all to possess and move in your gifts. Amen. And so if you are an intercessor. We need you to come in and pray once the speaker close. Hallelujah. If you're a worshiper and you want to come in and worship before the speaker come on, we offer Christ to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm John Prophet. All right. Good night. Love you. Good night. Love y'all. Be blessed. Bye-bye.